So what's up guys? Dropping the ball this week. There was a patch 1.1.348 and I didn't know it was coming. Usually the reason I know when I know is because I'm an early riser and I've been playing this game religiously since launch and I've just quit. So last weekend tried to do some invasions. Out of a dozen times I got two matches with a host and one of them it was pitch black when I entered their world. That was it. And I was done. The PvP in this game is trash and has not been fixed. And when you do connect with somebody, it's just not fun. I mean, the trades aren't fun. It's not really that dynamic. And so what I did, I started playing Elden Ring again. And I've been having the time of my life. I've been invading. Uh, I keep the blue cipher on, so I'm always called as a cop all the time. And it's very active. It's more active than Lords of the Fallen, a brand new game. And on top of that, it's like I can initiate an invasion from anywhere on the map at any time. I can continue my PvE adventure while also engaging in PvP so I don't have to stop at a vestige. I don't have to spend a vestige seed or spend a vestige moth to get back to a vestige. If I'm doing PvP in Lords of the Fallen, I'm doing PvP in Lords of the Fallen. If I'm doing PvE, I'm doing PvE. But you know, I just had to look back at everything that I've been doing with Lords of the Fallen and you know, I I still think it's worthwhile of a game to purchase. I think it's worth playing. Uh, but it does not have the replayability and PvP makes replayability way, way higher for a lot of these Souls-like games. But on top of that, the difficulty in PvE also makes it worth playing again. You gotta have dynamic bosses that have dynamic behavior. You gotta have bosses that are hard. And this game where that comes just falls short. It falls so short. It is way, way too easy of a game. It feels like Dark Souls on easy mode. If people ever ask for an easy mode for Dark Souls, it's like Uncanny Valley. It makes you feel as if you are playing Dark Souls because yeah, the levels and the mobs, all the difficulty is in the mobs and the reduction on the mobs and the better leashing on the mobs actually made the game worse by making the game easier. And okay, so let's get back to the new patch. The new patch has a, a bucket quest line and you get uh, gilded buckets or whatever. I bet they hit like a truck. There's a new spell where you, you know, ring the bell on your head. I bet that hits like a truck. I mean, I don't know because I've not played with the new spell pack. And I don't know if I'm going to pick the game up again. I probably will just so I'm not talking out of my ass about the new patch. I'm going to give it its due. But as of right now, I'm having fun playing a good old From Software game that actually is difficult. This actually got active PvP that, you know, even though it reuses assets, at least it's got 100 assets. It doesn't have like 12 that just repeat. I mean, at certain points in Lords of the Fallen, it feels like you're doing a turn-based game. The wind-ups and telegraphs are so big and the umbral eyes, like the umbral eye of Loash, just allow you to cheese. And you know, even if you don't cheese, like the very first playthrough, I played Onga Bonga. I played a strength build, did not understand any of the mechanics of the umbral la uh, lamp. I also bought the Pilgrim's Perch key early in the game before the price doubled. And I went to Mance of the Hallowed Brothers first. I went Mance of the Hallowed Brothers straight from Pilgrim's Perch with a melee build, not using the Umbral Lamp, and that level of difficulty at launch felt like a Dark Souls game. And I loved it, I was like, damn. And that's where I based most of my initial judgments on was that playthrough, I'm like, damn, this feels like Dark Souls. But since I discovered, you know, all the stuff in the game, and you know, since I've been like following some guides so I can, you know, platinum the game, and I go in the intended order, it is just not difficult. It is just not hard enough. It's not challenging enough. The PvP is not active enough. And the trades aren't as fun. So I asked in the thumbnail, 
Is it worth playing? And I meant it. It is not clickbait. Is it worth playing? So in the comments, tell me, am I missing out? Should I give this new patch its due? You guys tell me. So, you know, drop a like, drop a subscribe, and please comment. Tell me if this game is worth playing. But that's all for today, guys. Peace.